hello everyone you're welcome to few cool mathematics here we provide complete solution to mathematical problems or equations here we have 1 plus square root of x equals x and we want to find the value of x what i want to do first is to make root x the subject that way we we'll have root x to be equal to x minus 1 and then because of this square root you know i can square this so that the square root will be eliminated and if you square the left hand side you have to square the right hand side and do not square it separately if you see x squared minus 1 squared it will be wrong so what do i do this is going with this so that x from here is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 2 mind you x minus 1 to the power of 2 that will be x minus 1 into x minus 1 then we we'll multiply by opening the bracket as we open the bracket this multiplied by this is x squared then this multiplied by this is negative x this multiplied by this is another negative x and this multiplied by this will give us positive 1 because negative times positive negative times negative will give positive so we have x to be equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus x minus x is minus 2x so here we have quadratic equation but it is not well arranged at the moment so the one with the highest power which is x squared will appear first we have x squared over there and then we have um, this which is minus 2x then this is x um, on the other side since it is coming to meet with this it becomes negative x then we have plus 1 which is equal to 0 so x squared minus put it put these two together to get negative 3x then plus 1 and that is equal to 0 mind you we want to provide a solution to this and you begin to decide what formula to use i mean the formula to use or the method to use as the case may be so what method do we use let's use the formula method and what is the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a now I'm using I'm having b squared because I'm, I'm I'm using x because it is the x we are looking for in the quadratic equation. And now what is our a? A is the coefficient of x squared. Remember there's an invisible one over here, so our a is one, our b is minus three, and c is constant, which is plus one. So x now will be equal to in place of minus b i will write minus minus 3 then plus or minus then i have b squared which will be minus 3 to the power of 2 some students will fail to put this in bracket and if you fail to do that you will have a wrong answer especially if you press your calculator because minus 3 squared in your calculator will give you negative 9 instead of positive 9 which is what we are looking we are going to get minus 4 a is 1 and c is also 1 so this will be over 2 times a and our a is 1 right now x from here will be equal to negative negative will give positive 3 plus or minus then we have um negative 3 to the power of 2 will give 9 then minus 4 this will be over 2 to continue we have x that will be equal to 3 
plus or minus square root of 5. 9 minus 4 is 5, and that will be over, over 2, right? Okay, to continue, then we have x to be equal to 3 plus square root of 5 over 2, or 3 minus square root of 5 minus square root of 5 over 2. So these are the two solutions to the problem. But then you can decide to get your answer in decimal form. Okay, so I'm going to get this in decimal form as I get the square root of, I want to get the square root of um, 5 in decimal form. Okay, so from here, x will now be 3 plus square root of 5 is 2.24 um, approximately. Then we divide this by 2 or we have 3 minus 2.24, right? We still divide this by 2. x is now equal to, if you add this up, you will be having um, 5.24. That will be over 5.24. That's going to be over 2, right? Or if you subtract this, what do you have? You'll be having, you have 0 0.76 over 2 then x from here is equal to if you divide this okay let's learn to divide decimal 5 divided by 2 that will give from um, 2 remainder 1 but we put decimal making this to be 12 12 divided by 2 will give us 6 and 4 divided by 2 will give us 2 or on this side 0 divided by 2 will give 0 then decimal 7 divided by 2 is 3 remainder 1 making this to be 16 16 divided by 3 will give 8 so this will be the two values of x but which of them would satisfy this equation which is um, 1 plus square root of x equals x okay because it's obvious that both of them cannot satisfy since they are um, not the same thing and they are having the same sign. So what if I put 1 plus square root of 2.62? Will this be equal to 2.62 approximately? The answer will be yes. So this means that it is x equal to 2.62 that satisfies the equation and that 0 0.38 does not satisfy thank you for watching to the end